Hello and welcome to the Black Hat Bushcraft channel. In several of my recent videos, I've talked about hydration and how to collect water from the landscape. We've looked at pre-filters such as the brown bag filter and we've looked at more modern filters such as the Grail GeoPress, the Ultralight, and even the Sawyer Mini. And we've demonstrated collecting water and making it safe to drink. We've talked about disinfection by boiling. We've just gone over a lot of things to do with how to make water safe to drink from the landscape. Today I want to cover just a little bit different aspect and that is how to collect rainwater when it starts to fall. A lot of times when we're in the woods and it starts to rain we look at that as a curse but if we need hydration what a blessing that is because that's fresh drinkable water in most situations. So today I want to show you how we can use our essential kit such as our sheltering components like a tarp or ridgeline things like that to set up a quick and easy and effective water funnel to trap that water in our container such as our bush pot or metal bottle or whatever we have to fill those containers to drink our fill refill those containers if we're on the move we can carry that water with us. So again this is a very simple and effective system let's get started on setting it up right now. To set up this rain funnel, I'll be using my Pathfinder 5x7 emergency space blanket. I'll be using my quick deploy 30 foot ridge line. If you don't already have a ridge line or know the knots to tie to make one, I'll share those with you. I'll also use three pre-made toggles, although you can pick up sticks on the ground, two seven foot guidelines, two MSR groundhog stakes, of course we can fashion stakes in the woods, and some type of container to catch the water in, be it your metal bottle, your bush pot, or even a plastic container, whatever you're carrying. Even the bag from this tarp could be used to catch water if needed. These are all the items that I'll need to set this system up. So on one end of my ridge line, I always start with a bowling loop. Just create a bite in the line, come up through that bite. Now bring that working in around the standing end, just like that. And now come back through the loop. That's it. This is one of the most useful knots. So many things we can do with that. I'm simply going to toggle this off after wrapping around a tree. Now, to do a quick connect for my ridge line, I'm gonna come around this tree, just about my head height, maybe a little extra, and I'm simply gonna pull a bite through that loop, insert a toggle, and cinch that down. Now I'll just run this to the other tree and set up my trucker's hitch. Just so you can see better how to tie the trucker's hitch, I reach over my line and I twist, creating a loop in the line. And I'm gonna pick up my line once again and cinch, creating a slip loop. That's a quick detach knot. Once again, I reach over and I twist and I pick up the line. It's very important that I pick up the line on the trucker's hitch side. If I pick up the line towards the bowling knot, I'm just gonna create a cinching knot, which is gonna be almost impossible to get out. So once again, I grab that, I twist, creating my loop, pick up my line on the trucker's hitch side towards that trucker's hitch tree. Now I just simply come around the tree and I'm gonna bring that line back through this loop right here, okay? So around the tree, come back through my slip loop. And now I can cinch that thing down and create tension to get that line very tight. I'll show you how to finish it off. So once again, I create that little slip loop and I run this line around the tree coming back through this loop. Now I cinch that down, getting the tension that I want. I use my point finger right here between those two lines and I create a nice big loop. And now I just use my thumb, my dominant hand thumb to feed a bite back through that and cinch it towards the knot. And it gives me a nice trucker hitch, which is quick release, but it's also nice and centered on the line. This can be used as a attachment point for my tarp, of course, or I can simply insert a toggle, or I can use my cordage, extra cordage if you have it, as a toggle to create a secure hitch so that this isn't going anywhere. However, when I'm ready to go, it's all quick release. Perfect woodsman's knot.
Now, I already have attached to my line a couple of Prusik knots that are easy to adjust up and down the line. And on this corner of my tarp, on the grommet, I also have a six inch loop of bank line. This makes a great quick and easy attachment point. I simply insert this loop through the Prusik, insert a toggle, and there we go. I have a nice quick attachment or quick detach point if needed. So just simply one loop through the other, insert the toggle, now I just pull this out tight to the opposite side. Just in case you're not sure how to attach your Prusik knot to your ridge line, you simply need a loop of cordage. And it works best if this loop is of a smaller diameter cordage than your ridge line itself. So I use 36 bank line on a 550 cord ridge line. And you simply take that loop and lay it over the line. And I'm going to take the knot in and run it through itself three times. And now once I've gone through the third time, I'm just going to cinch that down. And you want to dress this knot up. And what I mean by that is just make sure that everything's laying nice and flat so that when you pull it tight, it will bite into the line much, much better. And that's it right there. And the beauty of this knot is you can take your hand and move it up and down the line to adjust tension on your tarp. But once you cinch that thing out tight and pull from the side, it's not going anywhere. So it gives you a fully adjustable point, but a secure point once you attach. It's a great knot and important one to know. Just that quick and easy, I've got this tarp hung. Now for this next step, I have one of my uprights, which is just a simple Y branch. It's about five and a half feet. Doesn't have to be perfect. And because I have this bank line loop on the end of my tarp, I can just simply put that on the Y. And that gives me a quick and easy connect there. Again, just simply place that over top of the Y. Now what I'm gonna do is use one of my guidelines, and these are seven foot pieces of paracord. I keep several of them in my pack at all times for guidelines, but also for just general utility purposes. All I have to do is come here now and just go over top of the bowling loop that's on the end of it. And now I can stake this out. And to begin with, I'm gonna make this a little bit narrow, and I can adjust the height of my tarp by the pitch of this stick. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of stop that in the ground. I'm going to stake this side off and then we'll make adjustments as needed on the other side. And when I stake this off, I am going to crisscross this. Just use a Marlin spike hitch, which you've seen me use many times to attach my stake. And I'm just going to loosely stake this in the ground on this side. Now I got to get my other upright and do the exact same thing. So on this side, it'll just be repetition of the same thing. Simply place my loop over top of that fork I have a bowling loop once again on this line i'll just simply run that through the loop to attach now all that's left really is just to adjust this thing to get the right angle so i can catch water as it sheds off once again marline spike to stake that thing off now I just got to find the right angle for these. So what I'll do is adjust these uprights to get the funnel that I want with this. And this right here doesn't look too terrible as it is right now. Just would like to sure it up a little bit. I'm going to kind of drive that hole into the ground. Same thing on this side, just kind of drive it in a little bit. And Make sure these stakes are nice and secure.
All right, so just to try a little proof of concept here, I'm gonna drip some water from the right corner, water from the left corner, water from the center, no matter what, it's collecting in that bush pot. Which is common sense, honestly, the way it's funneled. Just like to see how it feeds into the pot. No problems. No problems with that at all. So you can see, while it's far from ideal, this thing does still offer me some shelter. It's not as good as, say, a traditional lean-to or a plow point type shelter, but what it does is it allows me to monitor my water collection and to drink from that container, place it back, and refill. Once I've drank my fill and I've filled up all my containers, then I can easily come and take these corners and stake them out to give myself better coverage. But it does, most important, address the factor of hydration and still give me a little bit of shelter in the meantime. So you can see very simply with items that I'm already gonna be carrying in my kit, I was able to set up this nice rain funnel. It's very effective funneling that water down into my bush pot, into my metal water bottle, or any container that I'm carrying. If it starts to rain, this is a way I can take advantage of that natural resource and fill up my containers, drink my fill, refill those containers while I have that rainfall coming down. Take advantage of that resource. Um, again, this is a very simple system. I'm using two guy lines, which I'm already gonna have in my sheltering kit. Two uprights, which I use fork uprights, but you could use just straight poles. They could be just as effective. We've got a ridge line and our tarp, which again are things that we're already gonna be carrying with us. So this is just one of many ways I'm sure you could use a tarp to collect rainwater. This was just uh, an idea that I had and I wanted to come out and see if it would actually work. So I was fiddling around with it for a few minutes and this is what I came up with. I think this is a very good system. It's worthwhile to practice setting one of these up just so you're kind of familiar with how it goes together. And that way, if you should ever need it, this would be a quick and simple system that you could use. Again, you still have somewhat of a lean-to here. So if it was just a light passing rain and you just wanted to take advantage of that resource by filling up your containers while you could, you still got shelter here that you could get up under. So I'd like to thank you guys for your time, your interest, your support, and all the kind words. It means so much to me. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the Black Hat Bushcraft channel, I ask you to please subscribe. Make sure to ring that bell button so you stay notified of all the upcoming videos. There's normally at least one a week. So I hope that you guys will come back to the channel often uh, as there'll be many videos to come. Also, if you will, do me a favor and check out the links down in the description box. If you're curious about my gear, my kit, my affiliate links, those types of things, there's a lot of information down below in that description box. Until the next video, you guys take care, be safe, and God bless. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see similar content, please subscribe to the Black Hat Bushcraft channel. Thank you for your time and interest, and I hope you'll come back soon. Take care.